me, like Black Nation confidence is having the confidence in yourself to believe in yourself 100%, despite any other thing around you. Anybody's option doesn't matter. And you should most definitely be open to anything and everything. Black Nation confidence means to me that black people finally believe in their light and their ability to illuminate. Black Nation confidence in itself, it's, it's very dynamic. Likewise, it's also raw because, I mean, there's, there are a lot of diamonds in the rough. Now it's about finding, as black people, as a black nation, you know, those diamonds in the rough. The first word that popped out to mind was black star, because I feel we are stars, or we are born to be stars. Now we just need to find each other, polish the roughness out of that diamond, and produce masterpieces which can be exposed to the world. Black Nation confidence is being yourself and it's digging deep inside of you, you know, and finding your self-worth and realizing that, you know, there's no amount of money or there's no price that you can put on you, <laughs> you know, on your, how special, you know, you are. We're in a space where we can't use our history as an excuse to not succeed today. It means we need to be more educated as black people for us to stay in a space where we are educated, literated and can grow as human beings. Black nation confidence. I'd like to say this, man. As black people and in the context of like South African history, we're products of the struggle. Our surrounding, you know, and our history defines who we are. There's no need to look further. You know, and, 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 and being replicas of what's happening in the Western culture. I'd say that master your craft, you know, apply apply yourself like understand there needs to be a level of understanding uh, uh, personal understanding knowledge of self you know i'm not going to spit all the jewels but it's first come the knowledge the understanding and then the wisdom nation confidence basically is wearing whatever the fuck you want so if you want to free the nipple free the nipple it's also about like playing the music you want to play, being the person you want to be, hanging with the right people, and just sharing any knowledge you ever get. Because if you share, we all grow together. Embracing where you come from, embracing your influences, whether it be family, your peers, what you see, what you're exposed to on a daily, your daily experience. Embracing it, being accountable for it, and then exposing it. Black Nation confidence. I mean, you know, like, you never really stop being a student, I feel. Once you, once you think you know it all, that's when you stop learning. So like, you always have to be open to new ideas. You always have to appreciate those that create around you and learn from those that create around you and stay humble. But always realize that you are your most important fan and your most important critic, you know, because there'll be a time where you're making work that no one around you likes or appreciates, but you need to love that shit. You need to like that shit and you need to keep driving yourself and motivating yourself, you know? And when you get to a point when everyone around you is tapping you on your back and saying, oh, that's dope, that's whatever, that's when a lot of people slip and they get comfortable. That's when your work gets redundant. That's when your work develops an expiry date. During that phase is when you need to be your toughest critic, you know? So you gotta have that duality between, you know, like liking your work, not liking your work, pushing yourself, humbling yourself. And I think confidence is trying to find that balance between the two, you know? And, you know, listen to critics, but don't take them to heart.
you know. That, that's basically how I feel about this shit, man, yeah. We're living in a time where, like, South African kids, actually just kids in Africa are, like, really taking, taking pride and embracing, like, you know, local culture, their own vernacular languages, you know, buying local design and things like that. So I think the whole, that whole movement, that whole culture concept is very, very uh, relevant right now. I think kids need to support each other, like, you know, buy each other's music, buy each other's clothes, and that's what, that's what Black Nation confidence means to me right now, you know, supporting each other, not, you know, buying too much T-Pain and, you know, Young Thug, you know, buy the local shit.